Hi everybody, I am back. Um, I just got back from a weekend in Chicago, Illinois. I don't go very often. I had a cousin that lives there and we went for a shopping weekend and it's supposed to be for Christmas shopping, but I got to go to a lot of places that I don't normally get to go to. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys some things that I got. Um, I have stuff from the body shop, from Lush, and from Sephora. And uh, I just want to talk a little bit about it. Um, I had to say, like, um, going to Sephora, it was so exciting. I don't have a Sephora, and I see it a lot on YouTube um, about, you know, what it's like, you know, just people getting stuff from there. So let me go ahead and start with that one since I did um, start talking about that one. So at Sephora, all I did, I only got one item because I was supposed to be Christmas shopping for everybody else. I ended up spending more money on myself all weekend. I got the Urban Decay 24-7 um, eyeliner pencil. Um, the Glide On Eye Pencil, and it's in zero, black, and um, I believe it was for $17, and I was going to order it online, but this saved me shipping, so I was really excited about that. I used it today um, just on my waterline. The reason why I bought this is because I have black eyeliner. I got black eyeliner from um, uh, e.l.f., and I like their liquid, but I've never found like a pencil eyeliner from e.l.f. that I really liked, so... Um, I was hoping to, you know, try different ones. I can never find a pencil that stays on the waterline. I don't know if anybody else can. Um, I like the look of eye pencil on my waterline, but, I mean, I would say within an hour. Well, um, for this, it was about two hours. It stayed on, but eventually it comes underneath my eye, and um, it gets underneath and gives me a little bit of raccoon eye, and there's nowhere on my waterline. Um, just so you know, I tried it today. I wasn't very happy with it, um, considering it was $17. Um, I know it might not be expensive to other people, but it's expensive to me personally. Um, and so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. If I don't know if I can contact Urban Decay, uh, um, Sephora, because I, like I said, I don't have a Sephora by me. So I'm going to look into that, but I just didn't think it held up its end of the bargain. To be a 24-7 eyeliner, um, I know it wasn't going to last that long on my waterline, but I was expecting it to last a little bit longer than my cheap products. So it was a little disappointing for that, but that was the only thing I got at Sephora. I, um, I went to the body shop, and you know, I haven't seen a lot of good reviews on the body shop, but I was in desperate need of a good foundation. And I really feel, since I um, really prefer e.l.f. products, um, I, they just, they're, they kind of lack in the foundation department for me personally. Um, I just, I like a nice um, liquid foundation. So I went to the body shop to try it out. Now here's the thing. They personally could not tell me for a fact that this was vegan. We went through the ingredients um, and now everything is 100% vegetarian. There is no animal testing, um, but we really couldn't figure it out. So and with all the names and stuff in this, it's so hard to find. And we were trying to figure work on it. So I did try. So anybody who's watching this who's vegan and see me using this, and if it's not vegan, please let me know. But please don't hold it against me because we did try to look. Um, but we couldn't find anything. So um, I really wish that that would become more of a normalcy for them to mark things vegan. I would think that would be a good thing for them. But oh well. So I did get um, the Body Shop Oil-Free Balancing Foundation with SPF 15, and I got it in number two. So I used this today for the first time uh, this morning. I used it stippling it on with um, my powder brush from, my flat top powder brush from e.l.f. Studio Line. And I really liked this product. I was really happy with it. It seemed to stay on pretty good today. I was very happy with this product. Now, granted, it's just been one day, and a lot of times I'm happy with the product, and then I start using it more and more, and I'm not happy with it, or vice versa. So, we'll see, but I just want to let you know, I did get this. I did try it. It was okay. So, maybe I'll do a full, more full review on this, especially if anybody's interested in seeing anything about this. This was a little bit expensive, actually, in my mind, again. It was $25. Um, you know, especially since um, I haven't really bought makeup outside of e.l.f., um, for a very long time, so it was really hard for me to uh, spend that kind of money on makeup. But so um, my next thing is um, the thing I had to definitely do in Lush. What I mean in Chicago was to go to Lush. Told my family I said if I go anywhere I had to go to Lush because I was out of my soap. Vanilla in the mist. Here it is. It's just a yellow bar. Um, it has a little bit of vanilla. It's very very vanilla, um, and I like vanillas. Vanilla is one of my favorite smells. So. Um, 
first time I used this was this morning. It has a coffee smell to it, just so you know. But this is called Alk Alkmar. Alkmar? I don't know how to pronounce it. There it is. That's what it is. I got this because she said it was really rich lather. Um, I'm not that particular on the smell. It wasn't like I smelled it. I'm like, oh yeah, it smells good. It was, um, I have no idea. And I'm pretty good with, I have a really good nose. I can smell really well, but I just really don't know what the smell is. I can't figure it out. It has like a partially fruity smell, a little bit of vanilla smell. And as weird as this may sound, a little bit of like bathroom cleaner smell. That makes sense, but it doesn't smell bad. It just, it's not my favorite smell, but the rock star soap and this, you know, I got because it's very popular. I see a lot of reviews on it. So I got it and I do like it. It has like a candy smell to it. Um, the first time I tried it was in Chicago it was the next day after we went and I was taking a shower and my family was outside and they, and out in the house and they could smell from the shower, the soap, and they're talking about how good it smelled. And when I came out, they're like, oh my gosh, your soap was that. And I'm like, it was the rock star. So it was very well liked from people around me, and I did like it. Now, this bar is the bar that I went to originally get. It's the Figs and Leaves. And this is the one, this is my favorite scent. And to each their own, because my family doesn't like this smell, but I do. Um, but it has like leaves and it has little seeds and everything in it so this has this bar hasn't been used but once you start using it those seeds really come out and sometimes it can be pretty rough on the skin so like I said great exfoliator so I really do like the figs and leaves here's the problem um the lush that I went to was not like a independent lush store it was within Macy's so I went to go look at my receipt so I can give you guys the name of these bubble bath bars and the receipt just says like bath product. It doesn't say what the bubble bath bar is. I got this bath, bath bar. As you can see, the moon was a, there was like two of these left. And the one moon was almost gone, completely gone on the other one. And this one just had a little corner off. So I went ahead and got this. This smell is, mm, oh gosh, it smells so good. Everybody that I was with that I, uh, smelled this loved the smell of this. In fact, I believe two people that I was with when I was with four people, um, two of them got it. So it's a wonderful, it has a clean, fresh smell and um, with a little bit of a flower, flower clean smell. So this is the, the, it has a little bit of glitter at top as you can see. I got this one and it's like a little gnome kind of one. I don't, I might be called gnome, I don't know. But um, this has a peppermint smell to it, peppermint, spearmint and soap smell. So that's the smell of this, and it smells delicious, and I just, and it's cute, and, you know, sometimes just like different scents. So I got that one, and the last thing I got for my haul was this one, and I do know this one because this is a rebuy for me, and it's the Karma one, and there it is. Now this one is my favorite, <laughs> and again, uh, the people I was with didn't like this one, so like I said, it's, it's all your own choice, I mean, what everybody smells different. But this is a very clean smell, very, very clean smell, strong, um, almost fabric softener smell to me. I got a gift box for my boss, and it has um, like two soaps in it, a bath melt, and some, and a uh, bubble bath bar. I think the Starry Night one bubble bath bar was in there. So, so anyway, so it was... You know, I really enjoyed it. I had a great shopping experience and I went to my first vegan restaurant, Woo Woo. It was the most exciting thing I've done in a long time. Um, it was the Chicago Diner and uh, food was amazing. Um, I've been vegan for about two years, so I haven't had someone cook me a meal in two years. I got to have a chocolate chip cookie dough milkshake that I haven't even gotten anything similar to that in two years. Um, I had a Reuben sandwich, oh, just amazing. So I um, had a wonderful uh, weekend away to Chicago. Um, in fact, I keep planning, I'm trying to plan more trips um, to Chicago. I said once my Lush stuff runs out, I'm going back to Chicago and um, gonna go to the restaurant and gonna go to Lush and all that stuff. So um, had a good trip, I really enjoyed it and just wanted to share with you guys what I got. And um, that's about it. So I'll talk to you guys later, bye.